A 30-year-old Brooklyn teacher turned away from the hospital twice, ultimately dying from COVID after a 37-day battle. They're insinuating that she was having a panic attack. An Orange County father of five given a nebulizer when his oxygen level dropped to 89. Someone who pays their equal fare of taxes um, gets denied health care twice, gets sent home, and then dies on the last try. A Queens mom who could only have a virtual funeral when she died. I just want to say I love you, mom. I always will love you. Their families were watching President Trump's dramatic departure on Marine One from Walter Reed Medical Center. <laughs> Taking note as the commander in chief took the mask off his face before walking into the White House and tweeting. Two days ago, I felt great, like better than I have in a long time. I said just recently, better than 20 years ago. This man is using this as a political propaganda to divide the nation when we're already so broken. He could have done so much good with coming out and saying COVID is scary. While the president was putting on a show for his supporters, Michael Rodriguez and his partner in Queens weren't moved. Rodriguez had eulogized his mother in April at the virtual ceremony. What about, you know, everyone else? Everyone that couldn't afford the, 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 the type of medicines that he took. Everyone else had to quarantine themselves for 14 days, and he just leaves the hospital. In North Carolina, a family was mourning Julie Davis, the mom who became an educator after the Columbine school massacre. She knew if she could just change, change a child's life through teaching, maybe that wouldn't happen again. This virus doesn't care, and you, we all have to do our part so that no one else has to feel this pain. In Orange County, March's pain is still fresh for Melody Aravena. I don't have my husband here anymore. My kids don't have their dad. The number of new COVID cases has risen more than 25% in the U.S. since the middle of September, in a nation where more than 7 million Americans have tested positive. Most will not have the same kind of health care as President Trump, but even he, at 74, doesn't have full control over an unpredictable virus. I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News.